So, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, it's a different day. Here comes a train. A slow one as well. Today is a different day. Well, today is not, today's not a day where I did a photography day before. It's been a few days. Now, I, I haven't been doing photography every day. The weather hasn't been right for it. I wanted to, trust me, I wanted to, but the weather has been terrible. A couple of days of not very nice weather, rain, overcast, thunderstorms, all right. And today isn't much different. <sighs> Had a bit of rain earlier. Um, but it seems to be keeping off at the moment. Very gentle at the moment. It was windy earlier, but it's gentle breeze. And oh, it's beautiful. I like this. You know, stand here and take it away sometimes. <coughs> um, but, but I like to think of canal boat photography or canal side photography, this channel. It's sort of like a van life channel. Like a travelling... It's almost like being a landscape photographer and having your own little camper van. You go off and nap to different locations and wake up in different locations. But this is sort of permanent. It's almost like that, so, yeah, today, in an absolutely beautiful location, with absolutely stunning views, I mean, oh, imagine waking up to seeing an ancient castle on a massive hill outside your bedroom window, that's exactly what we got today, that's exactly what I'm going to try and shoot today, so join me. So, first shot in the bag now. Why does this train always show up every time I'm doing this? First shot in the bag. And all it is, it's just this beautiful lock. I came across this beautiful lock, Wharton's lock. I've been through it a couple of times on the canal boat. And it's always caught my eye for some reason. It's, I don't know something really rural about it it's, you know it's not urbanized in any sort of way no graffiti nothing like that it's just out here in nature it's beautiful and calm <clears throat> we've got these autumnal berries here on this mountain ash red bright berries we've got vibrant greens and yellows in the background and we've also got this oh, i can't figure the name of it <laughs> but this tree here with beautiful purple berries on it, can't remember the name. Um, and we've got this overflow. Can't remember the name for this as well. There's, there is a specific name for it that goes down the side of the lock for overfill water, um, and that sort of like adds a leading line to the image. And we've got the lock here, beautiful brickwork from the bridge in the back. And yeah, just a lovely canal shot, really. Nothing I'd usually shoot, but. It, it, catches, it catches my eye, you know, I'm a land, I like landscape photography. And I suppose it is landscape photography in a way, but I like landscape just as itself. No man, not ma no man-made things, but as I'm doing canal photography now, I've got to get used to that. And things like this, I like, you know, industrial revolution sort of stuff. But yeah, it's great, it's a great shot. Again, still not having a second tripod. We'll get one at some point. Uh, one tenth of a second, F8, 
and about, high, uh, about 24 millimeter zoomed into. It's a crop sensor, so I don't know, probably about 30 millimeter. But yeah, absolutely great first shot. Um, let's go see what else we can find. So I've got my second shot now. I'm not too happy about it really. Uh, I've, I'm in an hour and about it. And I end up taking the shot. Um, but I walked along here and I just saw this beautiful shrub just growing outside, out on the gate. There's loads of plants and lots of shrubs growing out of this gate. But this one stood out to me because it's really big and it's got lovely vibrant orange flowers on it and I was toying with what sort of shot I could do but in the end I zoomed out as far as I could to 18 millimeters, which is probably about 25 millimeters. I don't know 30 maybe um, and I, I had to get right in the centre to make sure it's balanced which is what I did and I just got a, a shot of the lock F16 so I get that in focus and the background in focus um, and yeah, I'm not too happy with it. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in post. Uh, but 0.8 of a second F16 ISO 100. Got the polarizer on for the water. And yeah, I don't know. See what you think. The camera quality is a bit poor, a um, bit low light in here. Uh, yeah, this just caught my eye down here. This is the overfill weir, and it's shooting right down here in like its own little tube, and it's really, really fast. And I thought, God, now I'm on a canal, it's so still, there's no current or nothing. How am I gonna get some long exposure shots with water? I used to love doing that in the sea. And there you go. <laughs> so I came to. First, I thought, no, oh, there's nothing here. But when I came back to film B-roll, I was like, yeah, actually, there could be something here. There's these, well, there's these two trees here, right in front, really gnarly, dark, thick, all over the place branches. And it just adds some really good foreground interest to this image. And this acts as a leading line. It takes you down the image, through it further down the canal. So yeah, F-16. Uh, and six second exposure. Hope you enjoy. I'm not too sure on this one either. We'll see. going to the castle didn't you no that's next because I remembered when I crossed the bridge ah that's where I was going to go to get the shot because instead of shooting in there I was going to come down here but then I shot that and now I'm going to shoot this from this direction oh this is just a beautiful classic canal scene absolutely amazing I wasn't going to do it but then I thought mm, might as well because for some reason you have to climb underneath the fence there it, there's no entrance for, for, so, for no apparent reason even though it's a public footpath don't know why there's no entrance um, but yeah just another great shot here so 
it's a lot lighter out here, so I've got my N Globe ND8 uh, on and my polarizer. And that gives me a six second exposure at F16. This lovely bridge here going over the canal. Lock just in there and a lovely overfill weir just here. And getting beautiful patterns of the overfill weir just coming out onto the canal. Lovely. Um, and also I did take an exposure for the sky one second because it is coming out quite nice now. We've got some quite nice light, but I try and merge the images together. If I can, I will. But if I won't, I'll just pick the one image up of this beautiful scene here. All right, let's climb back under, under that fence again and finally go and see the castle. Oh, I'm out there now, in this field. Just lovely, you know? Not the planes in the car and that, but just being alone in nature. You know, no one around me to judge me. Beautiful evening, just on my own. You need this free time to yourself. You need this alone time, I mean, it's so healing, it honestly is. Oh, it just feels so good be alone <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it's funny isn't it um but this is almost exactly how, what i envisioned uh this shot to be of beeston castle this is the castle i've been going on about beeston castle it's a very uh prominent landmark along the the latter half of the um shropshire union um Oh, it's great. It really is great. It's beautiful. It's just a hill. This whole area is really flat, but you just got this massive lump of a hill over here with trees all growing on it and a ruined castle on top. And it's epic. I scouted out this location before because before I started this channel, doing this channel again, I actually walked up here and we were going to walk up to the top of that. But when we got there, it was 12 quid each. Bear in mind there was some sort of medieval fair thing going on but even though it's ten pounds if you want to climb to the top of that hill uh, yeah I don't know I think it's better from the outside anyway I flew my drone up there 130 odd meters that must be or oh, 110 meters actually because my drone was only about 10 meters above the people at the top um, but yeah just a beautiful landscape this is 
classic landscape shot. Um, what I wanted was some beautiful light hitting these trees with almighty great big thunder clouds behind the castle over there making like an oh, just a beautiful contrast like that is my favorite condition thunderstorms thick gray thunderstorm clouds with sun behind it sort of shining on an object making it contrast with the background so much and that's what I wish we could have had but you know you can't always get it um, there is some blue sky and some nice light above me uh, but uh, I highly 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 doubt there will be any sun um, got half an hour to sunset and the sunset is about over there so yeah I don't think we'll get any sun but still got quite a nice shot here moody shot and always a castle is you want to go for the moodiness, you know, the medieval moodiness. That's sort of what I've done. So, I did expose to the sky and the foreground, but like I say, I might not be able to do it. So I've gone for one in between as well, so I can tone down the highlights, bring out the shadows. Um, so the one for the sky is 1 6th of a second F16 ISO 100 um, at, at 35 millimeters. Um, and then for my foreground, one fifth of a second F16 ISO 100. Hopefully, I can put them both together. And yeah, pretty much, we've got this castle in the background with a hill, and there is a little oak tree right here that's distracting. I've got him out, and I've just got these two oak trees here the brother and sister. One's really small, uh, and one's big. and. I don't know, there's something abstract about it. I quite like it. So yeah, that's the shot. Hope you guys enjoy. So unfortunately, I appear to be missing my last few uh, clips to this video. And I get three more images. Yeah, I found this other lone tree by itself. The best lone tree I could find in the area. And uh, it's sort of the same as the last image, uh, with beasts and castle on the background. And then the second image is this big lone tree, black and white, with a railway bridge just underneath there. Lovely image, and uh, one by one crop. Third and final image, I wanted to get a proper nice one by one crop moody image of Beeston Castle and um, yeah black and white again and lovely and moody and yeah quite nice but yeah that's gonna be it for today guys hope you all enjoyed the video please like and subscribe don't forget to check out my narrowboat channel and yeah thank you very much for watching bye bye